hey everyone and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to insert symbols in droyo let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to click the start button if this is your first time in droyo you will be forwarded to the section that is the option for you to save your diagrams later, you can choose from any of the following cloud storage options such as Google Drive, OneDrive, Dropbox, GitHub, or GitLab. But if you want to save it locally to your computer, just click the device. But if you want to just continue working and decide later, just click of this button. Then you would be forwarded to create a new diagram from scratch if you haven't already. Or if you want an existing diagram and you wanted just to insert some symbols, you can do that as well. If you click the create new diagram, you can choose from any of the following. All right. For example, you wanted to create a blank diagram or if you want to choose any diagram from uh, a template, smart template, business charts and a lot more and click the create button. Now, once you've done that, you would be forwarded to the canvas. You might want to familiarize yourself with the interface because on the left side is going to be the toolbox. And the right side is going to be the format panel. Now, all you have to do is use the shapes and symbols library on the left side. Again, you need to click the full screen option on the top right corner because if you do not click it, you will not be able to access the toolbar where you can insert the shapes and symbols that you wanted. All right. Now, if you can't find the symbols here, search these shapes right here, for example, symbol, and press enter. So it would generate more results right here if you want. So you can do a lot of things here. For example, this, you can insert as many as symbols as you want. For example, this, just drag and drop it here on the uh, center canvas. So again, you're not limited with the section. You can put in as many as canvas as you can. All right, you are not limited with the options, but you're just kind of limited with your imagination. So you can do all these. You can also insert icons if you want. For example, this will be forwarded here. And there's a lot that you can do. All right. Add images or symbols, which we have added already. Once you're happy with this, all right, it's very easy really to insert symbols. Once you're happy with that, click on the file option on the uh, upper left corner, click on save, but although Droyo automatically saves your work, all right? And from there, click on the file option if you wanted to export this to different file formats such as PNG, JPEG, WebP, you're welcome to do that. Click on the PNG option, you have another option wherein if you want to create and adjust the settings to your preferences and likeness you can also do that for a size is it going to be the whole page or just the diagram you can choose from transparent background appearance is going to be light or dark you can add the shadow or grid and click the export button and again similar to the first section earlier will you will be asked where do you want to save it is it going to be one of your cloud storage options such as these or if you want to save it locally just click the download button in my case i'm going to save it to my g drive once you're happy with that you might want to click the share button on the top right corner because if you do you can have the option to share this to your client or maybe if you're working with multiple freelancers just give share the link right here so they can give feedback and comment to this diagram that you have created inserting symbols and again if you want to back up this diagram as a backup data just click the make a copy and duplicate this and save it to these options all right and that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next one